Hey there, future inventors and tech wizards. Welcome to a world where imagination meets innovation and where your ideas can come to life with just a few components and a bit of know-how. Welcome to Adeptus. Have you ever wondered how your phone works? That sleek device in your hand is a marvel of modern engineering packed with tiny components that communicate with each other to perform complex tasks. Or what makes your TV light up? Behind that screen, there's a fascinating world of circuits and signals working together to bring you your favorite shows and movies. It's all thanks to the magic of electronics. These tiny components and circuits are the building blocks of our digital world, making everything from simple toys to complex computers possible. Electronics is the study of how to control tiny particles called electrons. These electrons flow through circuits, creating the energy needed to power our devices. These little guys are like messengers that carry energy, making all our gadgets come to life. Without them, our world would be a much less exciting place. Understanding the basics of electronics is like having a superpower. Imagine being able to look at a broken device and knowing exactly how to fix it. Or even better, creating something entirely new from scratch. You can troubleshoot problems, fix things around the house, and even build your own inventions. The possibilities are endless when you understand how electronics work. Don't worry. It's not as complicated as it sounds. With a bit of patience and practice, anyone can learn the basics of electronics. It's all about breaking down complex ideas into simple, understandable parts. We're going to break it down step by step, using simple language and fun examples. You'll see that with each small project you complete, your confidence and understanding will grow. So. Put on your thinking caps, grab your curiosity, and let's dive into the exciting world of electronics. Together, we'll explore the wonders of circuits, components, and the incredible things you can create with them. Get ready to embark on a journey of discovery and innovation. Every good detective needs a trusty tool, and in the world of electronics, that tool is the multimeter. This handy gadget is like a Swiss army knife for electronics, helping us measure important electrical properties. With a multimeter, we can measure voltage, the push of electricity, current, the flow of electricity, and resistance, the opposition to the flow. Don't worry, we'll explain these terms in more detail later. Using a multimeter is easier than you think. You'll need to select the right setting for what you want to measure, then connect the probes to the circuit or component. The multimeter will display the reading, giving you valuable information about how the circuit is behaving. But what do these readings mean? Voltage, current and resistance are the fundamental properties of any electrical circuit. Voltage is like the pressure that pushes electrical charges through a conductor. Think of it as the force that drives the current. Imagine water flowing through a pipe. The water pressure is analogous to voltage. Higher voltage means more pressure, pushing the electrical current through the circuit. Current, on the other hand, is the actual flow of electric charge. It's like the amount of water flowing through the pipe. The more current, the more electrons are moving through the circuit. Resistance is the opposition to this flow. It's like a narrow section of the pipe that restricts water flow. Higher resistance means less current can flow through the circuit. By measuring these properties, we can diagnose and troubleshoot electrical problems. Whether you're fixing a broken circuit, designing a new one, or just curious about how things work, a multimeter is an essential tool. So, grab your multimeter and start exploring the fascinating world of electronics. With practice, you'll become a circuit detective, solving electrical mysteries with ease. 
Remember, every reading tells a story about the circuit's behaviour. Happy measuring! Now, let's meet the traffic cop of the electronics world. Ohm's law. This fundamental principle is the cornerstone of understanding how electrical circuits function. Without it, the world of electronics would be a chaotic mess, much like a city without traffic lights. Ohm's law is the guiding rule that helps us navigate the complex pathways of voltage, current and resistance. This fundamental law helps us understand the relationship between voltage, current and resistance in a circuit. Voltage, often symbolised as V, is the electrical potential difference between two points. Current, symbolised as I, is the flow of electric charge and resistance, symbolised as R, is the opposition to the flow of current. These three elements are intricately linked and Ohm's law provides the formula to decode their relationship. Imagine a water pipe. The water pressure is like voltage. The amount of water flowing through is like current. And the size of the pipe is like resistance. Just as water pressure pushes water through a pipe, voltage pushes electric current through a conductor. If the pipe is narrow, it resists the flow of water just as a high resistance opposes the flow of electric current. This analogy helps us visualise how these elements interact in a circuit. Ohm's law tells us that the current flowing through a conductor is directly proportional to the voltage applied across it and inversely proportional to the resistance. Mathematically, this is expressed as I equal V as R. This means that if you increase the voltage, the current increases, provided the resistance remains constant. Conversely, if you increase the resistance, the current decreases, assuming the voltage stays the same. In simpler terms, more voltage means more current, but more resistance means less current. This straightforward relationship is crucial for designing and troubleshooting circuits. For instance, if a circuit isn't working as expected, measuring the voltage, current and resistance can help pinpoint the issue. By adjusting these variables, engineers can ensure that circuits operate efficiently and safely. This law is super important because it helps us predict and control the behaviour of circuits. Whether you're working on a simple flashlight or a complex computer motherboard, Understanding Ohm's law is essential. It allows engineers to design circuits that perform specific functions, troubleshoot issues when things go wrong, and optimize performance for energy efficiency and reliability. We can use it to calculate the right components to use, troubleshoot problems, and design efficient electronic systems. For example, if you know the voltage and the desired current, you can calculate the necessary resistance to achieve that current. This is invaluable in selecting the right resistors, capacitors and other components. By mastering Ohm's law, engineers can create innovative solutions and advance technology in countless ways, from consumer electronics to industrial machinery. Remember our water pipe analogy? Voltage is like the water pressure that pushes the water through the pipe, making it flow. In electronics, voltage is the electric potential difference between two points in a circuit. It's the oomph that drives the electrons to move, creating an electric current in the circuit. Voltage is measured in volts, V. A higher voltage means a stronger push, just like higher water pressure means a stronger flow of water. Think of a battery. It has a positive, plus and negative basket terminal. The voltage of the battery tells us the potential difference between these terminals and how much push it can provide to a circuit. 